guys, my name is Teresa, welcome back to my channel, and thank you so much for watching, I do greatly appreciate it. I wanted to do a little review for you guys, so I thought this was really interesting. I've tried other cleansing balms in the past, and it didn't work out. I tried the Hamish one, and it was uh, really bad. <laughs> it was really just gross feeling, and I hated it. But I got this in my BoxyCharm, which I will never, ever subscribe to BoxyCharm again. They are nothing but bullshit and lies. If you guys would like a video on my experience with BoxyCharm, Please let me know. I would love to do one and just shit all over their lives. Sounds fabulous to me. Anyways, I got this in my very last boxy charm. It is the Very Cherry Clean by Pharmacy, and this was made specifically for boxy charm. I really like the smell of it. I would probably like the green clean a little bit better. Uh, but basically, this is a cleansing balm. Let's open it up. Also, this is what it looks like. It's cute. So you open it up, it comes with a spatula and a covering as well. Let me see, it's already kind of getting all over my hands. <laughs> I'm going to remove my lashes. So I wear waterproof mascara and I have always had an issue with it getting all of the mascara off my lashes because I hate having any sort of residue in my eyes, like in my lashes whenever I take my makeup off. So my usual routine is the Neutrogena makeup wipes and also the Neutrogena oil-free makeup remover. I put that on a cotton round and then I soak it for a second and then I massage it off. And it's the only thing that really works well for me. I don't like using the over-counter ones. They just don't work as well in my opinion. To get waterproof mascara and lipsticks off, they're just not as good. This we will see, we will see how it does because it is very important to me to get all of the liquid lipstick. And usually I have my Anastasia dip brow on and waterproof mascara. <laughs> so let's see how this does. So you're supposed to massage a small amount into your hands and then put it on your face. So I'm taking, not that much. I don't know why I'm putting my hand behind this, but like, you know, like YouTuber things. <laughs> I hate myself. Okay. Yeah, I love the way this stuff smells. I'm just massaging it into my hands. It says to concentrate it on your eyes when you try to take off your waterproof mascara. I'm trying to look for a cleansing balm because I'm tired of using so many makeup. I use so many makeup wipes. I look crazy right now. I look like, like a wax person. <laughs> It does just completely liquefy into your skin, which is really nice. It feels really good. It feels nice and hydrating. I'm enjoying the way it feels on my skin right now. I didn't enjoy the way the Hamish felt on my skin, if I'm being honest. Let's get these eyebrows gone. But yeah, I am looking for a makeup remover that gets the stuff off my face so that I can jump in the shower and then use my cleansers from there to actually clean my skin and instead of using so many makeup wipes and cotton rounds because it's just so wasteful and I'm trying to be more you know I'm not the best at it but I'm trying to be more aware of the waste that I put out into the world oh I'm really I'm really rubbing my eyelashes We'll see how this works. If it does get everything off, I'll be pleasantly surprised. So here's my wet rag. I'm just gonna wipe my little hands off. All right. Oh, it feels good. Ooh, it looks like it got all the lipstick off. That's nice. I'm not being super rough with my skin right now. I'm just gently wiping my face down. I also put foundation all down my neck, which is what really causes a lot of the wastefulness. I can't just use one makeup wipe on my face and my neck. I usually use two or three. So I'm really trying to be more aware, more conscious, do a better job. 
All right, and then after this, I'm gonna use one of my very most favorite cleansers and put it on a cotton round and wipe it over my face and see how much comes off. And I'm also gonna look in the mirror and see if all the residue on my eyelashes are gone. All right guys, so usually what I do after I do my skin cleaning regimen, I go over my face with a little bit of Thayer's Witch Hazel on just a cotton round. And I want to see how much residue is on my skin. I have to say, my skin feels great. Normally, I would be in the shower going ahead and washing my skin and everything, but even with just using this in a wet rag has done a lot for my skin. My skin feels really soft and good. It doesn't feel greasy at all. Like, I was really concerned it was gonna feel greasy. The Hamish got greasy, wiped off clean, but it didn't take my makeup with it. <laughs> So that was frustrating. This, my skin feels really clean. When I look up close, the creases of my nose are clean. The creases of my mouth is clean. All the waterproof mascara is gone from my eyes. So I think it did a really good job, but let's see. With a little bit of this. Ooh, I am getting some residue. But it is good to always just go over with a toner after you do your cleansing. So we do have, I don't know if you guys can see this. I do have some residue on my little cotton pad. It's not horrible, but it's not the best. But I do have to say I have less residue still left on my skin than if I were to use makeup remover wipes. So I am going to continue to use this and no longer buy makeup remover wipes. And then once this is done, I'm gonna venture back into the world of cleansing balms because I'm very curious if other ones are also good. I know the Vanilla Company is supposedly really good. I have not tried it. I would love to try it. This so far will last me quite a while and I'm happy that I got it. I will get a lot of use out of it and I do recommend anyone who is looking to reduce their carbon footprint and have a little bit less waste in the world to use something like this instead of makeup remover wipes and cotton rounds. I'm also going to be investing in some reusable cotton rounds that you can buy on Etsy very, very soon. I have not had the money only because things have been crazy. My skin has been breaking out. I've been very anxious and I know everyone's feeling it right now. And all I can say is that we're going to push through it and all we can do is stay at home, stay clean, stay healthy and do the best that we can. That's truly all that we can do. So I hope that you guys are all doing well. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you're looking for a cleansing balm, this one is a really good one. I would recommend the green one as well. I wanna try that one out in the future. I wanna try a few other brands before I purchase <laughs> Pharmacy again, but I did really like this and I will be using it all up and I'm excited about that. So like I said, I hope this video was helpful to you and useful in some way. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well, staying safe and healthy. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it and I'd love to have you guys here. I uh, make videos and I do stuff and I talk and I think I'm kind of funny sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great night and until next then, just please stay safe. Don't touch your face and wash your hands. <laughs> okay, bye.